Hi everyone, this is the SNES Drunk. Uh, I thought I'd do something a little different today. I'm gonna be doing just a regular old Let's Play of the game I looked at a week ago today, Stardew Valley. Um, you know how it is when you just really like a game and you just wanna tell people about it and show people like all the different stuff you can do. This is one of those games that can't really be encompassed in just a little three or four minute video. Um, yeah, as you can see, I've put like 40 hours into this game, and it's mostly in the last couple weeks. But, um, yeah, and I apologize for my voice and my congestion. That's a bad allergy day for me today. But, uh, yeah, here's all the stupid crap I've accumulated. Let's shut the fireplace off. I have a Super Nintendo. Damn straight. Okay, I've got like one game for it, but still. The reason I have that is because I married this gal over here. She's my wife, uh, the purple-haired girl, Abigail. Whoops, turned the TV on accidentally. It's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Hey, I'm talking to you. Well, isn't that nice? Where is she going? <laughs> anyway, uh, the fridge. Let's ch what, what do we got stocked in the fridge here? There's dishes that have been made. There's stuff I've found in the caves. There's oils, there's eggs from my chickens, there's maple syrup from my own trees, um, there's recipes you can make over here, you can make pancakes, you can make eggs, all sorts, you can learn tons of different stuff just from that, that's a real small aspect right there, you can get some loving from your wife, Oh yeah. And hey! Obviously, as you can see, I'm not showing this off just to show off my farm because my farm is pretty pathetic. <laughs> it's not. It's just a br just a brick wall with some plants and some corn and tomatoes, and it's it's really not all that great. Um, I'm mostly a fisherman in this game. Here, you can see all the different skills that you can. Uh, where is it? Here we go. I'm a level 10 fisher fisher guy. That's my thing. But there's combat. There's foraging or finding stuff. There's mining. There's farming. Uh, that's right, I got that key. I don't really know what to do with it yet, though. I've got mail. Pufferfish specimen. I'm conducting an experiment with Demetrius. He's the scientist guy that lives up in the north side of town on the mountain. Yeah, let's accept his quest and look for a puffer pufferfish. It can be random stuff. People could send you things. All sorts of random stuff. Let's, uh, well, here, let's, uh, first we gotta water the crops. So, uh, I gotta get my, get out my thing. And no, I'm not gonna make you suffer through me doing the tedious task of watering everything. So I'm going to fast forward, or at least edit my way out of this. So I'll see you in a bit. And we're back. So now it's, uh, put our way our, uh, watering things since we don't need it. That tedious task is over with. As you can see, I have all sorts of stupid crap here I don't even know what to do with. You get it from donating stuff at the museum. Like this thing. I don't know what that does. This is this is a, a trash recycler. You can f When you try find trash on the beach, you can throw it in here and it can turn it into things. These are furnaces, so you can uh, melt ore into bars of things. Here's a bee house that creates honey. Here's a cave that's usually stock full of like mushrooms that grow here. Weird mushrooms. Like, I don't know if you, the kind that you take where you hallucinate or what, but uh, anyway, I forgot to gra grab some hay for my chickens and I've only got two. Shit, that's not good. I gotta go get some more hay. Yeah, I got four chickens in here, and they just throw their eggs wherever they feel like it, I guess. How are you doing today? Oh, you're doing good. You're doing good. You're... Gary's doing good. Yeah, you can name these. Whatever you want. And it's good to check up on them like that. Anyway, what you do... Where's my dog? There he is. That's my dog, Clyde. Gotta go say hi to him, too. Um... You take the stuff that you get from your farm and you put it in this box and you get money for it. Somebody stops by overnight. Oh, I forgot to put the hay in there. Oops. But uh, yeah, and that's right. I also have stuff I can harvest with my scythe. 
This stuff right here, this wheat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I, I've got eight of these things, so I'd like to replant, go to the store and get some more. Forgot to put my wheat in here, sorry. So yeah, you can see how this game, the farming side gets a little tedious because it's based on routine and it's kind of time consuming. But thankfully there's a lot of other stuff in this game too. Now let's put this shit away. I'm gonna hold on to this. Let's go into town. Do 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 do. Oh, I've got like a notification here. Is this just the yeah? Okay. Yeah, there's all sorts of quests as you can see, like bring this person an apricot. I don't know how to do that. I don't have an apricot. Reach the bottom of the mine. I still haven't done that yet. Pam is thirsty. She wants a pale ale that you brew. I'm like, I don't even know how to do that yet. I guess you can make beer in this game. That's pretty sweet. And uh, and then over here, yeah, you got like random townspeople you can talk to. This is Abigail's mom. That's nice. Here's a calendar so you can see when people's birthdays are. And when festivals are coming up, there's a luau. I'm in year two of the game, by the way. This is the summer season. And there's help wanted signs. There's a little quest you can pick up. 260 gold for four rainbow trout. Those are pretty hard to catch and pretty inconsistent, but I'll take so many. I'll tick them up on that anyway. You got once you do that, it shows up on your little journal on the side here, and you've got two days to catch four rain rainbow trout. So, oops, I don't want to give him a stone. And anyway, I wanted to go over the store. Here's all the stuff you can get. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Buy that shit. Get the hell out of here. You can go into random people's houses, like, uh, I think this is Alex's house. You got this cranky old dude sitting here. <laughs> Do ya? Do you really? Yeah? Yeah. I've honestly never heard that line of dialogue before. That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's go to the blacksmith over here. Oh, you can buy ice cream from these people. There's Alex, there's Haley. Farming sounds so boring. Your face is boring. I just can get you into good shape. Eh, screw you. Here's Mr. Blacksmith guy, and I've got a geode that he can crack open here. There could be treasures in these. Uh, just iron ore. That's decent, but you can usually find much better. Here's the museum where you donate random stuff and get rewards for it. Hey, here's the mayor. What are you doing here? Oh, he's collecting taxes. How pleasant. But yeah, here's all the crap you can down you can download. You can uh, discover. It's got information. It's a dwarf scroll from inside the cave. Whatever. Yeah, just random shit that you find and you donate here. I've got almost everything. I'm missing only about 20 things, I think. And of course, you can do my favorite thing in this game, which is fishing. It's 3.20 in the afternoon. Let's fish off this bridge here. See if I can get something other than trash and seaweed. But yeah, you can accessorize with uh, hats. <laughs> you can dress up, get clothes that help with uh, combat and stuff like that for defense. Here we go. What did I catch here? Yeah, when you fish, it turns into this like mini game here, and depending on how hard it is to catch this particular fish, there's a pike, uh, like octopuses and squids and puffer fish and stuff like that. Those are really hard to catch because the fish little icon thing bounces every which way, and it's real your green bar that you use to hold down. You can control it by holding down the button. The uh, It'd be a Y button on a SNES controller, or the X button on an Xbox controller, which is what I'm using. Here's Willy. Hey, fuck you, I fish all the time. What are you talking about? Let's go to the beach here. You can usually find stuff just laying around um, that you can sell for money. Let's see... I set my crab trap. You can also build crab traps. Hey, I actually got some crabs in my crab traps. That's cool. So there you go. 
Works for me. Alright, let's head back. You can build those. Here's all the stuff you can build, by the way. Oh, by the way, yeah, here's how you uh, equip stuff. You can put stuff on your in your fishing rod. You can put bait on. You can put other hooks, but they do, they do wear out after a while. Um, oh, yeah. Also, there's uh, here's all the stuff you can build. Just here is here's the furnace. There's the bee house. There's a scarecrow. You can make your own fertilizer. You can make your own uh, mayonnaise machine. What? How the hell did they come up with that? Um trails, fishing lures, all sorts of just the most random shit you can think of. So there's crafting, there's fighting enemies, which I'll get to in a little bit. What was I gonna do? I already talked to you people. Yeah, and when you've talked to people, you can sit there and hammer on the A button or the B button and they won't say anything. They've already talked to you. They have nothing new to say. That's kind of nice, actually. Let's go, and uh, since I've unlocked the mine carts by collecting enough stuff, you can ch practically teleport up to the mines. Actually, first I would like to go to the Adventurer's Club. See, I went from there, I went from down here, the blacksmith and the museum and all that, all the way up here. Normally, it would take like an hour in game time for me to walk, but this time it took me no time flat. Let's sell some shit to this guy. And here's where you can buy weapons and equipment and all that sort of stuff. I've got the best sword I can get right now, so... Let's check out the mine. Let's kill that fucking... Oh, I was gonna <laughs> have to kill that squirrel with a fishing pole. That would have been awkward. Alright. For... When you, when you start out in the mines, you can only go up to, like... You have to go the manual way down here until you get to 20 and then you unlock the elevator at that point you can go down to as far as 105 or 105 so far I'm not sh sure how far this goes but here you mine random stuff you kill enemies ooh there's my next entrance but let's fight stuff first and this is much harder than it looks these things have some unpredictable patterns and there's some unpredictable enemies too like this thing hiding under this rock I think there's another exit let's take this one yeah, you just go as far as you can down, and you just mine stuff. Like, I just mined a jade there. There's a quartz sitting there waiting for me. You can exchange this stuff for for goods. Let's, uh, check. Oops. Nothing in that barrel. Yeah, see, so you can mine gold over here. Take this fucker out. I don't need quartz. Quartz are pretty crappy. Gold is nice, though. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show off the mines real quick here. We're running out of time. It's 7.30 already. Let's get out of here. And let's take the mine uh, back to the... Let's take a look at the quarry. Here's where more random mining stuff exists. <laughs> And you can, uh, you unlock this too, this area too, by, uh, let's, in fact, let's do that. Let's go check out the community center, which is this run-down little building that's infested by these little forest sprite things. And, uh, if you bring them certain combinations of certain stuff, you, uh, get to unlock other areas of the map and unlock other abilities and other random stuff who the hell knows i've unlocked three things so far um i've gotten the fish tank thing completed like for example here's the bulletin one i've already uh, unlocked that aspect of it to unlock this part i gotta get oak resin wine a rabbit's foot and a pomegranate and to unlock like this part i need 10 of wheat god i only have eight why did i uh, i don't know Gotta plant more wheat. Um, and then there's that one, which takes money. I've unlocked the boiler room, which unlocks the mine carts. So yeah, as you can see, there's a lot to this game. There's the pantry, or the kids' room, I guess. I don't even know what that is. Is there anything I haven't covered yet? No, the only thing I really haven't covered yet is the saloon. Let's go there. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. I went to the beach. I went to the mines. I went to the blacksmith farmed a little. Yeah, yes I do need a drink. Give me a bunch. Let's buy a shitload of beer. 
Six beers? That ain't enough to get me wasted, but whatever. I don't want to waste too much money. Let's have a beer. Now this right here is one of my favorite things. Yeah, you turn like glowing red. Don't you turn glowing red when you drink a beer? And then there's this little icon in the upper left. You know, if you can see that, I am tipsy, minus one speed. <laughs> That's a real nice touch. Then there's this asshole over here named Shane. What does Shane have to say? I already t Shane has nothing to say to me. Normally he's a dick. Like he's just like, shouldn't you be working or something like that? So I'm gonna get him a beer. Oh wow, drunk, how did you know? This is my favorite, and now suddenly he's my best friend. So yeah, that's how you make friends in this game. You don't buy them drinks, you just throw stuff at them that you they might like. Here's the arcade game, I already kind of tackled this and the... Uh, is there a way I can get out of this? Can I, yeah, okay. <clears throat> you can play arcade games. No, you can't play pool, unfortunately. There's Willy, there's Zach, there's Leah... Here, let's get this guy. This guy's new in town. Let's get him a beer. Let's get Leah a beer, too. She's cool. And I'm gonna keep the rest of the beers for me. <laughs> so yeah, now it's nighttime. It's 1040 at night. So you could do some night fishing, or you can just go straight home. Let's see if I can catch something real quick. Anyway, yeah, you just yeah, the game allows you to form your own routine and get as good at whatever you wanted that you can cook, become a really awesome cook. You can be an awesome farmer, you can be an awesome fisherman, you can be awesome in the mines. And donate all your all the shit you find in the mines to the museum. You can be a, a fisherman for green algae. Hey, there's Willie. We, uh, he I already talked to him. He has nothing to say to me. He's going home. Yep, everybody's going home for the night. It's funny, you see the same certain people at the bar, like, night after night after night. Which is pretty amusing. Anyway, let's take some of this stuff and, uh... Put it in my... Yeah, yeah, it, it, you do get tired. See the energy meter on the far right there? That if, When you run out of that, you're fucked. <laughs> Pike, driftwood, jade... I'm going to keep the beer, I'm going to keep this, uh, I, can, I can get rid of this, I can get rid of, oops, or uh, keep the beers, I need to plant those, what is this, when did I get that, I must have picked that up, hmm. I got a new weapon, it's not as good as my other sword, but I'll have to sell that to the adventurers people so yeah there you go there is a day in stardew valley where i did as much as i could there's my dog let's turn the fireplace back on let's go to bed my wife is already in there <laughs> you can see and then it oh i leveled up farming that's cool and it, it lets you know like i can make a keg now fuck yeah you bet damn right i'm gonna be all over that shit i wonder how you make those okay so yeah it tells you if you've leveled up and then it tallies up what you've put in your sales box thing, how much you get. This is not a whole lot of money. I'm used to getting like two grand a day. That's pretty disappointing. That's because I didn't have much farming stuff, but there you go. And then you just move right on to the next day starting at 6 a.m. You can see why this game is so addicting because it's just one day after another and you don't know when to stop. You don't have to turn off the fireplace. I just like doing that. And yeah, and you can, I, I think I'll just... Yeah, I'm not used to having this much freedom. I think I'll put the beers in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, so I'll get a kiss from the wife and let's go out and do some farming. And with that, I think I will call this an episode. Pretty cool. So, alrighty. I want to thank you for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.